now you know. It's Tower Block Dreams on BBC Three. This raw and uncompromising documentary contains very strong language and explicit scenes from the outset. To most people, South End in Essex means a holiday by the sea. But behind the promenade, there's another side to the town that most holidaymakers don't see. If you're around drugs and you're around people, yeah. If you're around people that are making money, yeah, without going to work, as if you're gonna like, as if you're gonna want to work. It's a world with its own set of values. I don't care, like, as long as I survive, I don't care about anyone else, right, basically. That's the way I see it, no? So if you try and be nice, you get nowhere, like, you get me? You get nowhere. Sorry, out! Sorry, out! Cos I will kill everyone! Yeah. Y2K FM is the biggest pirate radio station in Essex. Yours truly! Killer, a 24 year old MC, is the station manager. All my gang full of weed! It's Sunday morning, Super Sunday, and we are taking you to yours truly. Who the bum I put that picture up in this. It's a last lap! Yeah. Hey, mate! Right. You see that Raisin. shit? Raisin. So yeah, that's Who's that? Celestia, so isn't it? Celestia, right? Is that Celestia? Who's that? King David. King of Kings. Sabamba, big up Raisin, Sabamba. Is that how you get on? Original to fake and crew. Big up Ra Raisin and Lawsy. Shablish. Right, right. From the tower blocks of South End, Y2K transmits across Essex, Kent, and East London. If I was just doing, not, not doing radio and that, I'd probably be in jail now. So I'll probably do something like that. I don't really, I like to do things like, if I can't earn constant money like that, I'll go and try and do one thing to earn one big amount of money to make constant money. And I end up getting caught or something, man. Something will go wrong now in my life. Keep the studio clean, yeah? And then you're looking and you think, where the fuck did that fucking idea go from, like? Because, like, where's the studio clean bit? Yeah? Come and see this as well. This is what this is one it's of the things that we're giving away at, at the moment. Not all the DJs have signed it yet, because we only got it this week. But um, all the DJs and that will sign it, and then we give it out like to people as well, like sort of stuff that we do on competitions or give away phone vouchers and that, like when we do live calls and that. It's just a standard setup: twelve tens, decent mixer with channels, CD player, uh, compressor, a limiter. And then the horn, she's up on the roof. Y2K is on one of the worst estates in South End. It's nice to come and visit South End, yeah. I don't know, living here, after a while you do find out that it's not like how you thought it was when you first come here. Like, it seems more of a holiday place, but it's not really. There's a lot, there's a big drug scene. It's a big, big drug scene, bro. Gambit is another of South End's permanent residents. I have to sell weed and shit at school. I have to sell acid, speed. I've been like local pharmacist, but that was at the age of 14, so obviously, like, even that's not appropriate. It's not appropriate anyway. I know it's not appropriate, but I should do that kind of shit. But like, obviously, I've tried to veer off from that. Music is like salvation. Now 22, Gambit's hoping music can give him a legitimate way of making money. Right now, I'm just focusing on making tracks. Try and put some stuff put out, whether independently or by label, but more than likely independently. But the music isn't an immediate thing. You have to have immediate money, funds to live, and to even fund you towards your music anyway. MCs like Gambit rely on the pirate stations to get their tunes heard. The studios are in vacant flats in the tower blocks. It's going to be an absolute roadblock. But complaints from neighbours and the local authorities mean stations like Y2K never stay in one place for too long. What's happening? 
the shit to old studio to get some shit to go to the new studio because we're moving studio. So we have bait like fucking Moses. This is what someone put through the fucking door, yeah? I have two small children who you are keeping away late at night with your loud music. I know who you are and if you don't turn it down, my partner will be back home Friday night and will smash you in your... What's that say? You and your... Smash you in your stereo. Stereo to bits. I'm not joking. You mess with you, his kids, you mess with him. And also, I will be reporting you, reporting you. Take this as a friendly warning, or we'll wait till Friday night. That was sent about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, yeah? So we wait till Friday night, and nothing happened. So, your man, big bollock, Claire, husband, who's fucking coming over on Friday, you mess with his kids, you mess with him. You mess with kids, you mess with him, I'm telling you, him. Yeah, last yeah? night, 12.30 at night. And last night, 12.30 at night. Noise nuisance, people, environmental health, the occupier. Boom, 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 boom. Council requires you. Premises with noise and music. Boom, 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 boom. Get me. Um, basically, chew my wood, because we're hot here, so we're just moving. Like, we are well hot. We don't care if you don't. We don't care if you won't. We don't intend to. So keep your eyes on me We don't care if you don't We don't care if you won't We don't intend to be broke So keep your eyes on me We don't care if you don't So where did you get this place? Um, I'm not sure I don't know, someone just said someone had the keys for it. I was just like, yeah. Just rang them up <laughs> and just went and the keys. Some geezer just wants a quarter of skunk a week or something. I don't care about police, man. No one can grind us down. Like, they can take our studio, yeah. Be back on the next day, standard, like, standard. Do you think, like, no, I just don't see, so that's how they think, like, oh, we'll take their studio. <laughs> Mm. Mm. All them ones just think, yeah, big you up. Just be back on the next day anyway. Once again, we're just finalising things in the new studio. Fixing up everything. You got the feds, I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> As well as moving studios, they have to sneak onto the rooftops to move the aerials. What's this going? So what's, what's happening then, Kurt? Radio history. The biggest aerial that's ever gone up in radio, you get me? Say that, yeah? Two minutes later, it's on the floor, at the bottom of the floor. Everyone's dead and wife plays over. It's, it's so easy, this one, because it's like, boom, boom, boom now. It's like, boom. <laughs> it's all got instruction on team, you get me? <laughs> The aerials are stuck on the end of scaffold poles. Uh, uh, it's just a really shit design, man. The higher up the aerial is, the further the signal will reach. But it's hard to put up 80 feet of scaffold without being spotted. There's a police car patrolling the car park opposite. They haven't seen Killer and the others, yet. Then a friend from the other block starts shouting up to them, drawing attention to what they're doing. Oh, they're baiting us up, man. Shh. Well, Spen, man. Spen, man, you he's a prick, yeah? We're going to his ass now. Spen's his ass now. Spen's like, we're going to yours now, you're a mug. They're on us now. Because the blue foot are on us now, you're a prick. 
Yeah, the one else. Bait prick, and I'm going to his ass. No. Who, right. oh, Fed? You that are on the prangers, man. All right, I will. Because you're more likely to get Nick going downstairs walking along with a rig than you are out here. Who's got my keys? Pass my keys, really. It's just you to have a joke on London. The new aerial is left for another night. What do you think is the most important thing in Killer's life? His radar. Sometimes he'd be out all night putting aerials on roofs and things like that. Him and like his mates. But I really don't, I couldn't really tell you that goes on. I don't really know, to be totally honest with you. All I know is they like put up aerials and make it link and things like that. Like I just get all bits and bobs, so I don't really get the gist of it myself. But it's clever how they do it. It is clever. Really? Killer lives with his girlfriend Joe and their daughter. Give me a kissy! Kissy! But managing the radio station means he's not home much. Son, you've got to live with him, innit? I don't like it. He knows I don't like it. We argue constantly over it. Constantly. But in the days, he wants to do it. Do you know what I mean? I want the radio to be on in there. I like the radio. Like, but at the end of the day, it shouldn't come before everything else, which it has done in the past, do you know what I mean? Well, no, you're, gonna be, you're not going to be home by the time I get up, are you? Well, Just let me know now, because you're going to fly in traffic. Yeah, but what time are you going to be up? About seven. Well, I might be home by then, so you never know until you give it a go. Y2K isn't the only station transmitting into Essex. Gambit is appearing on Mystic FM 40 miles away in East London. Too cold, always in battle mode, watching a phone fold. I'm laughing, cop like I'm too cold. But when God made me, he broke the fucking mode. And this is cool, my cracking goal, like I was Joe Cole. Too much struggle and struggle. I just rap how I feel. It's like poems, like, it's like writing poems. Writing raps is like writing poems. Obviously, not so slow. Fucking jank, bro. Get it out slow. Anyway, you don't trouble me. I fool over your career with my day. So, can I upgrade and get in my record? So, I don't want to scan it. I need to just achieve what I need to achieve, accomplish what I need to accomplish in life. And that's, that, that'd be music. Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, there's other things you want to lead on to through that, yeah. But if I can make money through music, then. Standing, I'm going to do that and pursue that because that's one of the only things I'm good at in life. So I'm going to pursue that, get through with the music now, and then just come through now, and then just, do you know what I mean? Open clothes, shops, what, all, all kind of things like that. There's, there's, there's endless possibilities. Once you make money, I'm going like, to like, like thinking in hustling terms. Once you make money, you can make a lot. <laughs> There is constant rivalry between different pirate stations. Too many in the same area attracts attention from the DTI, the Department of Trade and Industry, who are responsible for preventing unlicensed stations broadcasting. Uh, anyway, I don't care about any other station because no one else can come on around here anyway. Because at the end of the day, like, there's not enough room for that. Because when a certain amount of stations come into a certain area, yeah, DTI start going, coming down because they know there's more food there. But there's other, obviously all over Essex there is stations, yeah, because you've got other stations, like, but what I'm saying is this part of Essex here, right now where we are, like, within this 10, 15 mile radius, no other stations can come on, like. Look, I told you, I told you, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, it's coming straight down, like. Killers spotted another station's aerial. I fucking knew it! Look what he's done, look how he's done it! It belongs to Charm FM, run by a character called Funky. How many floors have you got? Bubbling, bubbling. What's all this then? Going to take some mug off, innit? Funky. Radio station. Radio station on the roof. Is coming it? Off. Yeah, because he's a mug. And he's been well, chugging it. Is he the boys doing the Y2K, is it? Yeah. Is it Y2K? Yeah. Oh. Would you listen to Y2K, yeah, man? Yeah. Big station, one of these, man. What advice do you do, MC or DJ? I'm DJ. DJ. What's your DJ, man? Beats. Is it? Yeah. No, DJ, then, that. Yeah. 
It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, what, is it jam base you do? Or? No, I do garage. Garage. Yeah, man. I pick it up like this. And you know, it's like... Taking another station off air usually involves sabotaging their aerial. <laughs> See this fat shit here, like? This fat shit here weren't meant to climb. <laughs> that shit is coming home. For the whole of my crew watching Monkey's Aerial coming down, part one, chapter two. You need to go over your way a bit, bruv. You ain't had no piece of the action here. Pull that shit over. <laughs> have a bit of fun on funk. Just getting you on one, innit? Yeah, nice. No, no, bend it right down, right there. I'm coming for that shit. Wait till the shit here comes and I'll get that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it down, man. Please. Leave it like that. Leave it like that. <laughs> Watch this shit. Shit's nice, nice. Big it up, Funk. Do you ever worry that it's going to yeah, come home? Of course, home? isn't it? Of course I do. Killers have all been chased and all that, and they? And all that crap. You know what I mean? It does worry me when he don't come home with a light and all that. Wake up when he's not there and that. Like that. Oh, that's something you've got to do, isn't it, I suppose? I don't see the point to it, though. Like, this rivalry. <laughs> I don't see that there's any need for it, but obviously there is, like, from Killer's point of view. The battles between stations can become personal. Killer Nick, someone's rated radio transmitter, yeah? Some kids round here, yeah? And what they've done is, their way of getting Killer back was throwing something through my window. Yeah, and smashing my window. So, like, Killer has gone berserk. Some little coat head gets out of his fucking... Get, gets out of his nut, tried to run a radio station, flopped it. Killer took him off, and because of that, he apparently paid someone, yeah? in co cocaine, yeah, he paid someone in cocaine, yeah, to fucking throw a brick through my window. That night, trust me, like, we had people going, f climbing through people's windows and everything. I've always said it, man, pirate radio, yeah, you should keep that shit at pirate radio. If you've got a problem with man, go to his block, yeah, go to his block, turn his radio off and wait for him, yeah. And go to his house where he's got his girl, where he's got kids or, or, or he's, do you know what I mean? It's, it's long. Sometimes these arguments can get out of hand. I, I was trying to explain to him, I was going to him, hang on a minute, yeah? We've been fucking rational about this. I said, no one's dead yet. No one's fucking, hang on a minute, why are you at my door, basically, like? No oh, one's got, no, been? no one's had nothing yet. I said, the second we find out who it is, I was going, then it's going off, like, honestly. He thought he was Tyson in front of his brother. His right? brother would have, I would have just opened the door, yeah, with that, yeah. I would, as soon as you had, yeah, I'm sure probably I'd, have, I'd have said to him, wait one minute, yeah, close the door, yeah, I'd have come in here, I'd have got Jack Hammer up, I'd have opened the door and I'd just went bang upwards on his chin, knocking his chin, knocking him clean out into hospital, like. And then I'd phone up the ambulance, go, some mugs laid out on the fucking floor outside my ass, getting sick. Take them away. <laughs> If you're breaking the law, going to the police to settle disputes isn't an option, whether it's pirate radio or anything else. If you like earn money other, other ways rather than the usual way, like getting a job, like you can end up with people owing you money and them kind of things there, that like, people don't want to pay you your money and sometimes it, it draws into situations that like, you feel like you get frustrated with, like you could be owed like hundreds of pounds and shit, like man could owe you pure PayPal, like. 
it, it takes a lot for me to like lose my temper, yeah. But if I do lose my temper to the point I'm wanna arms you, that means if I wanna arms you, that means I wanna take your life because there's no point. It's all ongoing. You arm somebody, you thump somebody up, they're gonna come back trying looking to bore you up or something. Everyone's got a gun, you know what I mean? Some people have got a gun for protection, some people have got it because they want to mistreat it or they want to do this or they want to do that, you know what I mean? They want to think they're big. In this country, it's like, it's basically coming like America now. It's coming like America. And I think people wanted it to be like that, yeah, so much that it's becoming like that. But now, what's well, like, now it is like that. They don't want it, you know what I mean? It's if you want to be walking around, carrying like skins all the time like you want to be on road with skin every time of the day obviously if you get shift with a skin you're looking at at least five years at least five years and like as if people are looking to, you know, looking to be doing that but then what are you meant to do if one man's hold is he, he, he packs a skin here and you've got arms with him and he's looking to murk you what can you do it's either you or him now how can you justify it? like it's, do you know what I mean like I know Murders, like, do you know what I mean? The, like, a, a sin, yeah? But how can you justify it? Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do if a man's trying to kill you? What are you going to do? I've been shot at, um, fucking, I've been threatened with a gun and all them sort of things, but it's just life, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, it's just disturbing, isn't it? It's like, you sit there and you think about it for, like, a few weeks or months after, like, but you don't think about it, like, it just keeps coming into your head, like, now and again, like, at certain times, you just think about that time, like, you, you just go back to that moment, like, and you just think it could have went a different way, like, but then it's like, no, I don't even want to think about it like that, and then maybe a couple of days later you'll just remember it again, like, you know what I mean? It's just one of them things, isn't it? Bill was telling me some story about being held up. All sorts of crap. Yeah. Mm, it's scary, isn't it? I mean, do you ever say to him, do you ever try and talk to him about that? And... I know he won't listen to me, there's no point. He won't listen to me. He's got to do what he's got to do, isn't he? He's got to learn by his own mistakes. The girl is not an MC or a DJ, yeah? Why is she in the studio? That's two hours away from a woman, like, everyone knows, like, women go on and on, yeah? So you've got two hours to get away from them, get away from them, bring them with you and have them... <laughs> Because you know what they're like, you give a shout to some girl, you go, shout to Michelle, and they're like, who the fuck's Michelle? <laughs> Who's Michelle? Enough of you as well, like, I've taken it. You've got to be a bit more professional on air, like, see some of you guys... Killer holds monthly meetings with all the Y2K DJs and MCs to keep things in order. At the end of the day, if people nick shit, yeah, just don't let me catch you, because if I do catch you nicking anything from Y2K property, yeah, don't f kid yourself for a single second that I will not chop your fingers off. Don't kid yourself, whoever you are, like, don't kid We've yourself. Because I will you, cut your no fingers off, like, if I catch anyone nicking, like, I'll treat you like it's like Arabia, like, and then things will come off, like. DJs and MCs pay killer subs of £5 an hour to appear on Y2K. In theory, the subs pay for the running of the station. Subs are getting run a new way from now on. Yeah, simple, like, if the money ain't there, big it up. Night, make the show a nice one because it's going to be your last one. I want to see everyone at yours truly, like anyone in this room now, yeah, who's not at this rave. This is our rave, yeah, yours truly, yeah. This rave is like will be rammed if I have to go and drag people from nightclubs, yeah, and rape them, like to get people. Like, it's about the station thing, it's about what keeps the station going, yeah. And for the station, you need to plug these raves as well, like. The only way of making any proper money from pirate radio is to put on raves. DJs and MCs have to plug the nights on their shows. They also hand out flyers outside the clubs and pubs in town. Skirt any shorter, that shit's gonna be hanging like Jordan. Yeah, bruv. Nah, he can't come to a jungle wave anyway, and that's so <laughs> black. I've got to take some. But South End's music scene has its limitations. I'm not gonna cuss the place, yeah. But it's like there's only so much, only so far you can go in this town with music, and it's just like I'm, I'm not from Manly. Like it's, 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 it's different still. I mean the culture's 
it's getting more multicultural around here now. Every day as we speak, like more and more, yeah. But like, it's still there's still that cultural gap. It's a predominantly white area, yeah. I just don't feel hot. Like I need to be. Like, I need to be that. Like, little niggas around, but I swear, because like I, I, it's all right, yeah. I, I mean, I'm one of these people. I don't care. But like, obviously, at points, it, 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 there's difficulties. Difficulties arise. You could say. Gambit spends a lot of time outside his mate's record shop. Plainclothes police have had a tip off that crack is being sold in the area. I just come down there. I want you to speak to my colleague. Who's <laughs> asked me to detain you? I don't know why to stay. Right. There's been information that there's possibly some people here are in possession of Class A drugs. So yeah. no. I'll take your details and say so if you're going to be detained for no uh, matter. What, what they say about you guys is true. You're all racist. Yeah. No, but you, it is true. You are racist, and you know it yourself. Only the that way. Why is that? Turn the film off. Pure racism. You see a few black men hang, hanging outside, and we're selling crack, and that's it. We're shutting crack, regardless of what we're doing. Regardless, he wants to start cuffing me. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I'm going to court right now. Yeah, I don't even need them chatting to me. No, I didn't say nothing to me. They're just, no, yeah, for real, like they just come to all the black people, innit? Yeah, well, I wasn't doing nothing. Just buying CD. I was exactly. standing up. I have flipping flip, flip, him, filming this. This that, man, exactly. I was just standing exactly. and looking. Only because you're like, you standing and looking, Only but we are black, our exactly. colour, our skin. Bullshit. Ah. Tell me, this is the kind of thing that don't help help I niggas persevere know. in life no, because we, we, we end up hating hating on feds because of this kind of this kind of harassment, man. Do you know what I mean? Gambit's not the only one who's in trouble with the law. Where are we today? What, what are you doing? In I'm just going into the magistrate's court and it like it's got fucking caught with um no no insurance and no license. Uh, I was gonna go for my test, but what's the point man? Don't need a bit of paper to tell me I can drive. Insurance? For what? What do I need insurance for? I know if they say anything to me now I'm just gonna tell them, yeah. Honestly, yeah, you'll be doing this to me for the whole of my life because I'm never going to get a licence, yeah? And if I do, I'll tell you, I'll surprise myself, like. I'm a better driver than most people, like, it's better than any woman and that, anyway, I'll tell you that much. In South End, Gambit's also facing charges. Uh, it's defensive weapon and drugs, which is a bit of weed. A few couple of grams of weed, pers personally. And uh, the drugs, it's nothing. What is the, what is the weapon? Uh, snooker ball in a suck. And why, why were you carrying that? For protection, innit? But I just so happened, I don't, I don't used to carry it about every day with me and shit like that. I don't even roll with it every day, but like, it just so happened that that day I had it on me, I got it in arms. I never used it, but when I got shifted by the feds, they, like, they found that on me. Uh, yeah, the judge I've got is a harsh judge, yeah, so. More than likely, he's going to dish, be dishing out sentences, custodial sentences, yeah. But I'm hoping he won't. I pull my jogging bottoms up, stand there with my toe between my legs, my head down, humble as anything. See what man's saying, because I'm not looking to do just going cells right now, I'm not even prepared. Bomba, 300 pound fine. Fucking man. Fucking man. Pick him up. This judge goes to me. If you ever drive a motor vehicle, yeah, for a year in this country, yeah, about having a license, yeah, you could go jail. 30 seconds later, in a car with the engine started, just saying, yeah, all right, mate, see you there. See you at the fucking gates. A couple of weeks and I'll be out like fucking Mussolini. Uh, they give me a year's ban and um, about £200 fine or some yarns, £169 fine. I just laughed at them basically. And then uh, I just pleaded guilty. I just went, yeah, guilty, 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 don't care, don't care, guilty, don't care, guilty. The judge is not a fool into thinking send him to jail, he'll learn his lesson. All them levels of kidding yourself, but 
I just tell the judge straight here, yeah, send me jail all you want, I don't care, like, I'm still going to come out and do the same thing, look. Like. And what, you ain't going to stop me doing it. Because, yeah, they're just some rules that some John made up one time, look. Like, yeah, this is a law, that's a law, look. Like. I ain't going by them laws, man. I'll go by the next fucking laws, look. Like. Just any law, look. Like. I mean. But do you have your own set of laws that you... Uh... Yeah. Just do whatever, basically. I don't care, man, honestly. I couldn't give a shit, man. Who cares about the government or the police? Like, what's the worst they can do to you? Bang you up, you, get, you know what I mean? You get back out, like... Who cares? You've been in jail before, haven't you? I've been in jail for importing drugs, like skunk, weed and that. I've been in jail for fucking threatening behaviour basically. Well, well, that's that's what they tried to do for. Some Indian guy like tried to say that like, I called him a racist name, like, but I didn't even call him a racist name, so it got dropped. Like, but I was on remand for three months, like, and then they just dropped it and let me go, like. It's got 18 months probation. Little flat, isn't it? Buzzing. Yeah, re community rehabilitation order. It's like, it's because I've got, uh, they think I've got issues, like, I've got problems or whatever, and they want me to go and speak to somebody about it once a week and shit like that for 18, for a year and a half. Do you get anything out of talking to someone, or do you not delete? No, not really, no. As long as they think that I'm getting something out of it, I don't give a shit. Man. <laughs> One of Gambit's problems is not having his own place to live. Since the age of 19, that's, I'd say I've been floating around for the past two, three years. Just homeless, floating around. I'll stay at people's yard for maybe six months. At my age, yeah, it's not really the right thing to be doing. It's, 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 de it's demoralising, it's demeaning, it's embarrassing. Do you know what I mean? You don't really like turning around going to people who come at your yards. I need to get off that, I need to be on something else, moving, like, I need to be moving. But, I mean, I have a lot of problems, and like, I feel I've got a lot of problems that go in my own head that, that, that prevent me, that stop me, like, prevent my progressions, you know what I mean? My father died, I think I was just coming up to 14. And uh, from there, like, it, it kind of became a bit complicated, like, after about a month after my dad dying, but my stepmom must have, must have had a new man move in, like, come and live with us and shit, like, and, and obviously at a young age, and my dad's just died a month beforehand, yeah, it's, it's made it, you know, like, it's, that's a lot to take in for, I've just turned 14, and his father's just died, and there's a next man in the house. I was like, it caused a lot of conflicts, do you know what I mean? My, my stepmom chucked me out. From, from there, I'm not relying on any one person at all, because you, you only end up getting let down. And that, like that's that's maybe my problem where like with, maybe with relationships like I want to just sleep with girls and that yeah, but like I don't really like I haven't really, I couldn't say that I've had a proper decent relationship because I have that problem of, of opening myself up and do you know what I mean? Really, do you know what I mean? Opening myself, being open. I have to stay, I have to keep like a little distance yeah to keep myself alright because I can't take getting hurt and shit like that. I've, I haven't really got room for all that. The radio's quite a stressful thing, isn't it? It takes yeah. a lot of time, so that has an effect on... Relationship, is it? Is it? Yeah. Because it's like, sometimes, yeah. Say, for instance, like... D-Chai could come today, yeah, take us off, yeah, and then, it, like, it might be two whole days in for my missus season. You know what I mean? Because I might have to go... Get a week, like, if that one ain't working, you know what I mean? It's just stress, like, honestly. It's just, like, one thing after another. What do you reckon, Joe? How much does the radio affect things? Do you bring his work home with him? <laughs> yeah, all the time. All the time. But I live with it now, I suppose. And that. Uh, if you don't like it, get out. <laughs> yeah, alright. Just smash the rigs up, man. That's. Mm. <laughs> I'm certainly with my breakfast anyway, babe. Worst points is he's easily led. 
easily led, like, and just go off for the day and not feel away, like, oh, he's done our time, like, it's a good point, so I, <laughs> I don't know, to be totally honest with you, couldn't tell you. Right now, this is the new Y2K anthem, big up double six four, big up your chest right now, come on, roll it again, beats, give it to me, nicely. Yeah, 209 number, I'll see you right now. It'd be a bit boring if it was legal. Yeah, it would be, innit? There'd be no dramas, innit? Yeah. No dramas, like, it'd just be shit. So fucking, like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't even do a legal radio, man. I'd do a show on a legal radio once or something, like that. That's about it, man. It'd be shit, like, I wouldn't even have to go on the roof or nothing, like. Well, so you, do you like the fact that it's the game? That it's a bit of a game in some ways with the DTI and yeah, of course. It's not a game to me though. It's a game to them, like it's a game to them trying to like just getting a rig in there. But a game to me, just going and putting the next one straight back up, like. Eventually, DTI are gonna say no more, no more to pirate radio, aren't they? And they say that five or six years, you know, what do you think will happen? Is that what they're saying? I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing. That's what they reckon, isn't it? It's going for too long now, isn't it? Pirate radio. Fucking man, stopping. why do they care? Like, do you know what I mean? You don't make no money off the radio. It's all fucking... I don't really, you know. You can make money off it. Like, I'm not saying you can't, but like, it's not like a millionaire thing, you know what I mean? You're paying your taxes because DTI are taking your rigs, like, and they cost £300, like. The aerials costing like, like 30, 40 boys, coax, you know what I mean? Ting, ting, next thing is four boils. Yeah. And basically, you're Killer right has handed over sub collection to an MC called Decoy. At the end of the day, Killer and Beach are expecting like a grand, yeah? Later, I've got about £300. You know what I mean? Basically, it's just like, um, like, Killer and Beach yeah, are going to take a back seat because they're going to get the radio on and running, yeah? But they're losing it because people ain't paying them their subs. So I said to them, yeah, look, let me run this year and I'll get everyone subs. So basically, everyone's turned up today, barring like three or four people. Uh, all the subs have come in, so not as much as I thought, but we'll just see. I think I think six, seven hundred pounds better than nothing. Quite true. Have you drunk your, have you drunk your sub money? Have you got anything for me? What you got? Show me some love, Quattro. Yeah. Right, connection, you got subs? Real, this, subs, real. Here in all FAMO crew, the FAMO second birthday bash, Friday the 25th of July 2003, at the King's Club, Cockford, Colchester, Essex. Make sure you're down there. DJ's on the night, clap, 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 DJ beats. Killer and Y2K are putting on a rave in Colchester. He's had to put up a lot of money in advance. If the DJs don't sell enough tickets, then Killer's going to be seriously out of pocket. Because I'm not even going to lie to you, right? We ain't going to make much money out of this rave. We're going to get 400 to plus there. We ain't going to make much money out of it, you know what I mean? Because it's split so many ways between us and that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? When I see you, I'm going too bad for you. So what has you got having an argument with Roscat got to do with my ticket? Trade the dog up now, because I weren't there! So what, you can't get a fucking ticket off him? If we get under 400 people, I will fucking lose it, to tell you the truth. I have to see honest truth. Because the club already gets like, the club already gets 100, 150 every week. Right? So, what, we can't take 300 people to culture so I'll lose it. Killer has a co-promoter called Dyson. He has to be paid in advance for the coaches that will take their crowd to the club in Colchester. You're going to have to follow me down to get the other 300 dice off Psychic, man. I, I can't do it all on my own, man. I've been driving around all day, like, but I can't do it all on my own, like. Right, with 450 there, like, you know what I mean? The coaches ain't leaving before you get your money, you know what I mean? You ain't got to worry about that. Uh, I've got to get a fiver. Give me a fiver. It's a fiver short. What's up, son? Looking good, mate. Don't worry. Stress always happens. I'm going to deal yeah. with it these days. You don't understand. You've got to right? deal with Let it. Let me explain. You see that small proportion of money there, yeah? I have had, I'm not even going to tell you, yeah, to nearly kill people to get that. Right? Oh, it's like, 
Honestly, yeah, I will never in my life be so naive again Dude, to give to get tickets to people. Because, yeah, yeah, the simple fact of it is you just get mugged off. I've yeah. got to give you 350 oh, yeah? yeah? Be at Talk Car Park at 8.30 on the dot, you will have £350 before the coach, right, before anyone even gets on the coach, like, right? £355. Be there, you know what I mean? Before you, the coach is leaving that, you'll have all the money, you know what I mean? Right. Before anyone even gets on the coach. So the bats are going to be there to check age? Yeah. Yeah, what time are they going to be there? Uh, 8 o'clock. All they're doing is just making sure everyone who gets on knows that they're 18. So when the coaches get in there, they just go straight in. You know what I mean? Oh, they don't so have to we've got to get Lou and Joe. Oh, oh, let's go. Yeah. Honestly, I've, well, I've nearly killed frozen, myself today. <laughs> I've nearly killed myself. I've been so ill. At one stage, yeah, I was sitting there, just holding my hair, going, like, uh, that is it. That is actually I can't it. Wait like, for yeah, come, let's go. Let's, go. let's we'll go. See we'll see you there at um, Port Pass Day anyway. Right, I'll meet you there, yeah? All right, mate, see you soon. Killer thinks that some of the DJs aren't paying their subs. To teach them a lesson, he takes Y2K off the air. When did, when did you both decide that this is what was going to happen then? I was just waiting for the phone call to see how much subs. As soon as he went £440, one minute later the rig went off. I was sitting at the bottom of the block waiting for him to call me. And then like, that's it. Hey Shane, coming back on. <coughs> 400 quid subs. It is coming back on, yeah, but like none of the DJs, on, like everyone's like sat basically, everything's just like, just forget about Y2K. Might just like, turn it into a, just a complete jungle station. Just move it to just jungle. get jungle DJs on that want to play Weekends stuff. only now. Nah. Weekends only. We've got to do something anyway because this is just a mug off, like, this is just mug yeah, taking. It's supposed to be, yeah. I thought everyone paid their subs. Yeah, no, no. 400 quid or something. It's supposed to be 1,300 quid subs, yeah. Yeah. No, we'll, yeah, see that, we'll see that 400 quid, we'll we could get that in a weekend. Yeah, yeah, we could get no, that in, in, anyway, in so just being on weekends, right? Like. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need to be on all this time, risking all this shit and yeah. all that. Come on, anyway, let's go. Cut, come. Yeah, I was go just on. about to go on. Angel said, psychic, psychic step, stepping up now, yeah? Blam, picked up the mic. <laughs> Vape noise. Nothing. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. I tried everything else. No one's having this shit for nothing. You know what I mean? He's going, I want a grand. Or it's going off. But how the fuck are you supposed people. to get a grand? But the thing was, he was ringing me while I was at the meeting. Like, I had seven missed calls, yeah? And he must have been on top of the block waiting to, like... He was, that's he was hoping... I said to, I said, I said he was hoping that I didn't get it. Like, and I said to Josh a minute ago, you didn't give me a chance. Like, the last meeting, how good was the last meeting? Yeah. Everyone left there ringing me. Yeah, heavy meeting. Like, everyone yeah, everyone was on a level. And everyone's, like, got a good feeling at the moment. Like four, about four DJs they didn't turn up. Well, it was sacked, wasn't it? Yeah, man, sacked. Everyone like, else turned up, or someone was at the hospital. And... I had seriously, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to go see Justin tonight and try and talk to him on the level, but just don't know what is going to happen, really. It's a shame, isn't it? Sorry. Do you know what I mean? Right, okay. Basically, you lot decide who the winner's going to be. Yeah? £50 is going to be given away to one of these people right here. Gambit's gone up to London. He's entering an open mic competition. The winner gets £50. And there's always the hope that record company scouts might be in the crowd. One. Gambit. Yo, hey yo, I'm Gambit, better must tongue, I'm second to none, call me the one, billing the one, let's come around, let's all for the fun, leaving the stone, spitting my rubble, I never stir up, when I stuck on, when I spell out, can I never get that, form like a little duck on, so bring it, come, till then I peep tongue, then I'm fun, and don't forget to say I said hello to Ridge and run, that's what the fuck I want. Yeet, 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 like that feeling, that feeling, that feeling, that, all right, yeah, over there, okay, you got another set of dances, please, do me. Look at that bitch, got practice but got dry lips Big hair, big finger, no tips I think I should give that girl some tips But wait, a bread just tick Big bum, decent size tips Small hits, nice fits, plus close. Gambit was knocked out after the first round Do you feel you're doing enough music wise? To, to no, not really, not at the moment Not at the moment, but it's about like, it's, I mean, like I'm more interested in making money right now What are the options for making money? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, just other ways, there's other ways of making money, there's enough cats, there's cats everywhere. What are cats? They're just people that, that like, to, like to take drugs. Sleep. 
quite frightening than you know. Holy cow, I just care about money. Get rich or die trying. But <laughs> you know, there's a risk that you're taking. You know, if you're, you sort of. Um... Yeah, but what else are you going to live? Like, just like fucking. I'm not just going to sponge the government. Nothing. Just going to do it my own way. So, right. man, is ghetto. Well, ghetto. That's it. Stand. What does that mean? It's the way I live in it. Grimy. But ghetto, I mean, it's you know, nowhere in England is as bad as like America. America. You think, or, you know. Yeah, well, you, no, that's what you that's what you think, isn't it? Like, it depends on your lifestyle, really, though, isn't it? On the lifestyle. If you're around drugs and you're around people, yeah. If you're around people that are making money, yeah, without going to work, as if you're gonna like, as if you're gonna want to work. If you see, if you see what people have got, yeah, if you're doing up certain things, yeah, you want to think, well, I want to do that, and, then, and, and and it's there for you to do. Of course, it's there for you to do. It's in front of you. I could give you a phone, man. You can walk down this. You can walk down here, like you can spend a week down here, and you'll be, you'll be, you know what I mean? You, you'll be earning money. Shut in. <laughs> Shut in the same thing, isn't it? You know, like people know what that means. I'm not saying I do that. But yeah, I know I could just sit, sit some in carp, sit, sit up for a few phone lines and I'm done. A few phone lines and that's me. 10G rolling in a week. That's the reality of the game. It's not even a game, it's just life. Hustle. Gambit's music career is yet to take off. He's still struggling to get rich or die trying. I mean, you can go on the seafront and almost get whatever you want, can't you? So, in terms of drugs. Or yeah, that. easily. You could get anything that you wanted. It wouldn't be hard. It wouldn't be hard at all. Not that I go and buy anything off the street. <laughs> Everyone you know smoke, so. More or less, yeah. What, why do you think that has, how do you think that affects? It affects everyone, doesn't it? It's affected me over the years. It's affected Justin, it's affected everyone. You can't smoke like drugs without it affecting you, obviously. You know, like, but it's a fish, it's just killer's just sick in the head anyway. He's got something wrong with him anyway. Like, he's just a sicko. Does that worry you sometimes? Yeah, of course it does. You can't, you can't go out for like half an hour without starting on someone or someone <laughs> mugging him off when they ain't. That movie flips at the slightest little things. And she's a beggar. Oh, you idiot. And please she's don't a get me on them beggar. ones. Please Influence don't get me on them ones. And she's a station and beggar. That. Station beggar. So she is. She's a radio beggar. Oh, like Shiner. Radio, radio beggar. Oh, there we go. Do yeah. I have to punch you in your face? Well, don't Do start, don't start talking face? then, alright? Do I have to punch Please, you in don't. your face right now? Do I have to punch you clean in your throat right now? Did you right say what now? Ollie did down the road? Do I have to do that right, right now? Ollie. Do I have to do that? See, or are you no, why are you speaking to me like well, that? I'm going to give you a count of three before it gets real nasty, yeah? One, you are two, sick, like. three. You are sick. Sick, yeah? Yeah. You're going to make sick, me sick yeah. in a minute, man, and I'm going to be smashing you out of my we don't Tonight's the night of the Y2K rave. There's a crowd waiting to get on the coaches to the club, but the bouncers 
on letting them on. Let me tell you this free of fucking charge, yeah? Let me tell you this now, free of charge. L nah, nah, I ain't gonna repeat myself, I'm gonna lose my temper in a minute, yeah? And you don't want that to happen, mate. Let me just tell you this, right? right. I'm gonna tell you, if anybody who ain't getting on the coach, yeah? I'm getting my money back either way, or fuel, or or whatever, yeah? I know the rules, yeah? It's our night there, we know what rules are there, yeah? And you're telling me I don't know this and I don't know that. We know the rules what are set for this night, yeah? Don't be fooled, don't be mistaken, yeah? We ain't no mugs, yeah? And we ain't gonna be taken from mugs, yeah? We know the rules, like. Yeah, phone by Dyson, that's your best fucking bet. Get I'll fucking kill everyone, honestly. You don't know, man. I would just kill everyone, like. Nah, just some fucking mug bats, like, giving it. I'll just headbutt him now, like. Honestly, he even winds me up now, like. Dyson! You know me, Dyson, I'll lose it. I have big words now. Tell him I don't want to lose it. Tell him I don't want to lose it. Their co-promoter, Dyson, is on one of the coaches. This ain't running. I will fucking lose it with this big mug in a minute. You want to open the door? Open the door. Open the fucking door. I have paid for the fucking coach. Open the door. I have paid for the coach, not you, you mug. Open, open the, the door. Open the fucking door. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I can see you. I can see these. You're getting beefed up. Just go in there. Get beefed up, like. You see them getting beefed up, if the coaches refuse to take them, the club will be empty and Y2K will lose all the money they've paid out. What's the game? What's the game here? What is the fucking game? Because otherwise, just give me two grand now. Guys, so give me my money for the flyers. Give me my money for the coach. This big meat head has fucked We'll either get on there we'll have our money back now. We'll go down dreams and get the club now. Like, it's a minor. You lot are minors. You're pricks. Big it up, money. Let me, let me talk no, to you. Let me talk to you. No, big it up. They are seriously it, chucking it. You've got a problem with the bounce. That meat head cunt there. We want bare money now, man, because this ain't happening. Pick that mugging us off like that. That geezer come, he goes, I've had a very listen, bad listen, day. Listen, listen, big wait, him up, listen, the big mug. I will listen. stir it up so everyone don't, kicks don't. the fuck out of the right, coaches. We, we, don't, we don't need this. Right? Wait, where's, so where's he we going? Don't, we don't need this. So wait, is it, you, I need to know now, is that it? No. Right, but you've got to calm down, man. You can't go on like that to the fucking door. The yeah, listen, listen, wait, 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 wait. Look, everyone is oh, above 18. Yeah, like, everyone's listen, in a happy listen, mood and they're if, going if on like, this oh, is going to happen, yeah, right, yeah. I need you two to come with me and we need to talk to them and say to them... Wait, where's he going? Because I will kill him now, Dyson. You want to get him back now because I paid money. They're, all, they're going over there. They're parking up in the car park. The drivers have decided they don't want the Y2K crew on their coaches. All of us are going up King's Club now and we'll kill everyone. Women that's out there with them fucking meatheads. Yeah, get, get the women bouncers and that. Get the bouncers. Can we rush the bouncers? It's up to you, Dyson. We ain't getting mugged off! Don't get we ain't getting mugged off! If I have to lose it now, I'll go back to jail. We ain't getting mugged off. I ain't getting fucking mugged off. And Y2K ain't getting mugged off by no one. Sort it out. Sort it out. Because I will kill everyone. I will kill everyone. I will kill everyone. I will kill everyone, honestly. I'll cut my boot, get the gun and just shoot them. Listen, I'm not going nowhere because I will kill everyone, yeah? Beats, Beats, listen, Beats. Beats, listen, yeah? No, leave him, sir. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Listen to me, Dyson, yeah? This is a big mug off, yeah? And I've got Pete Lee who's going to get very angry. Tell the red coach, yeah? I want my money back. One coach, that white one, get it there. Everyone else can go in cars. That red coach tried mugging us off. I want the money back. Uh, basically, like, the fucking... No one's allowed on the coach because the bouncers were saying we've all got track suits and the bouncer was just playing a big man and now uh, we're all stuck in the car park, like. <laughs> nowhere to go, nothing to do. It's Friday night. <laughs> The crowd are all left waiting to see if Dyson can persuade the coaches to come back. Let me make this very clear, Dyson, yeah? If you do not return hey, here with up. a coach, yeah? I'm just going to say, you know what? You know what, yeah? I'm going to say, I'm giving up radio, I'm giving up everything. I'm spending my whole life, yeah, terrorising you in King's Club. And I swear that down on my daughter's life right now, bruv, yeah? Wait a second, I know it's something to do with you. Who am I paying for the fucking coaches? You! You know if, if you would have been here when the fucking bouncers come down and started giving it Joe fucking big bollocks, yeah? Because I tell you, I'll cut Kings now, I'll cut that bouncer's throat now, don't wind me up, yeah? Like, what is the game, Dyson? You've got to get one of them coaches back here right now. Right now. Seriously, you've got five minutes to get one of them coaches back. You've got my word, there won't be no trouble on there. I'll be on the coach, personally. Personally. 
Yeah? Dyson, you've got five minutes. Five minutes. You've got my word as well. Five minutes. Five minutes. Do you know what I mean? It's a mug off. Dyson and the coaches didn't return. Killer had to give everyone their money back. A month later, Y2K was still off the air and Killer was in prison. His driving offences and his temper had finally caught up with him. Got arrested outside my house. Yeah. For beating up some geezer. <laughs> Cars, driving back, no license, and whatever. I don't even know actually what he's inside for right now, I haven't heard from him. But he hasn't got that long, so he'll be out soon. Got like 30 odd days or something, something like that. And is, do you think this will make a difference this time? Because he'll. I hope so. I hope he comes out and he, he does change, but I don't know, I can't see it. I hope he does that. I don't think he will. He's doing the same things. Hey yo, over on BBC Radio One Extra, you can catch SJ Excalibur in the mix with some underground hip hop. You can get One Extra on your digital TV or online at bbc.co.uk forward slash One Extra. Underground? I thought he was playing in the tower block.